card A. All right, people. This is it. This is the very first part of the series that we've all been waiting for, especially me, because I could not wait to get this game. This is the first part of the Mario Kart 8 online series. I am your host, playing with Mui, aka Anthony, and as you can see, we are starting off in the main menu, which is uh, quite a bit of a departure from, I would say, the very first part of the Mario Kart Wii Wi-Fi Races series. Um, and that's because I didn't get to show this in the first look video, but I wanted to just kind of show, you know, going through the menu and, uh, well, not anything other than this, but I just kind of wanted to show what it looks like, you know, just going online, um, you know, you get this fancy connecting thing, and then, uh, and then you can choose. Um, so it's not really much different from Mario Kart Wii, except now there's an additional tournaments, uh, selection option menu thing here. And, uh, with tournaments, they're like, you can schedule them, like, weekly or daily or something like that. I, I haven't even gone into that myself. Um, I'm not too sure I want to do that. But regardless, that's not what you came here to see. You came here to see some races. So I'm going to go ahead and jump into a worldwide race. Now, uh, as you can see, I'm already up to about uh, over 2,000 VR. Um, the difference uh, in this game, as compared to Mario Kart Wii, is that you start off with 1,000 VR instead of 5,000. And I have to say that the VR system in this game is a lot more gentle than it was in Mario Kart Wii. Like, you'll gain... You, you'll, most of the time, you will gain VR. Well, at least at my level, anyway. But um, and when you do eventually lose VR, you, you lose so little. It's, it's like, I think the most I've ever lost was like six. So it's really not that bad. And when you, when you gain, you gain like, you know, anywhere from like, you know, one to like tw over 20. So it's actually pretty good. Um, so I feel like the VR system is actually, a, you know, an indication of how long you played rather than, you know, like your actual skill level. But that's, you know, I can let it slide. I mean, you know, playing for quite some time is, you know, still shows your... Uh, your skill in this game, so it's... I, I don't find it a big deal. Now, this is my current setup. Now, I like to use Metal Mario, and I like to use the... Where is it? The Bitty Buggy. With the roller tires. Uh, now, there's actually no difference between the roller tires and the button. And as you can see, I still haven't unlocked everything. There's still uh, question marks here. Um, gonna go ahead and use the roller, because yeah, I guess it kind of matches. And I'm going to use... Uh, I could use the Waddle Wing. I'll use the Waddle Wing. Okay. <coughs> So I'm going to be spectating this one. Um, let me see, what else is... Uh, now, oh, oh, I guess there's something else to mention. Uh, as you can see, there's five people named Player, and they only have 1,000 VR. Now, each of those people is actually a disconnected player, and that is actually a CPU that has taken over playing their character, um, which is a little bit on the freaky side. But um, if that ever happens to you, you don't actually gain or lose VR. Or, I, I don't know if you lose VR, because, you know, it's never actually happened to me. But, um, I, I know that for sure you don't, you don't gain VR. Um, because, uh, uh, it happened to, uh, Dak, aka KLC57 on YouTube. Uh, we were playing a, a match, and he got disconnected while we were selecting a track. And it replaced him with a player, but I could still see his name in the game, you know, like it still said, uh, it's name in the game is Deck. I, I still saw a player named Deck in the game, but it was actually a CPU. And, uh, the, the player gained about, like, 19 VR and, uh, did not, or, I mean, it did not reflect on his actual VR total. So, as you can see, we are currently spectating, and, uh, perhaps I will do some sort of time skippery so that we can jump into the actual racing. Okay, so now we're in the uh, the stage selecting portion, and you know I gotta be honest here, I'm not liking any of these selections. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick random. Now another change from Mario Kart Wii, and and I know that I'm gonna be mentioning Mario Kart Wii like it was the previous title in this series. It clearly was not, um, because I don't have Mario Kart Seven. I never played it, so I don't really know how any of that game works. But I do know how Mario Kart Wii works, so that's why I'm comparing it to that. You know, it's like apples to oranges and what have you. Um, but yeah, so uh, the difference here is that you can't pick whatever course you want. It gives you three random courses to select from, or you can pick a random course. And I think that they did that in order to cut back on people who would just, come, you know, continually vote for the same course over and over and over again. And it picked mine, and it was random, and we are going to Mario Kart Stadium. Or was it Mario Stadium? I can't remember. If, oh, okay, I was going to say, if it actually wants to. That was a little bit scary. Okay. 
So, uh, of course, I have some questions to get to. Now, I, I gotta be 100% honest here, and I feel a little bad. I, I did not come prepared for this, and I kind of had to, like, rush to get to the uh, initial, like, preemptive questions that you guys asked me. Um, and so I have a few of them here, but I don't have, like, all the questions that I was asked. So I'm very, very sorry if I didn't get to uh, uh, more questions that I really should have. There, yeah, there's there's a little, 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 little bit of lag here, but uh, this is not that bad. Um, I feel like the online play in general is way better on this game than it was in Mario Kart Wii. And I'm probably gonna get hit by something. No? Okay, cool. So, as you can probably tell, this first part of the series is, of course, live. Uh, if you could, of course, tell by my, by my reactions. Um, but yeah, so that's, you know, I just I kinda wanted to do that for the first part of the series, and then, you know, I'll go back to uh, the uh, status quo as it were, on Mario Kart uh, Wii, the Wi-Fi Races series, where I would just do, you know, post-commentary and whatnot. Um, but yeah, you know, this is a special occasion. It's the very first part, so of course I gotta make it live. Oh, uh, I just noticed somebody from uh, YouTube is here with me. There's Danny, the guy in front of me. He is, in fact, uh, somebody on my friends list. So uh, I'm gonna spam Danny with fireballs. Hopefully one of them hits him. They did not. And Danny gets away. He may get blue shelled, and I missed an item, so that's not good. So there are a couple of oh, I'm gonna hit by a red shell. I just looked at the gamepad, and the dude behind me got a red shell. Um, there are a couple of issues right now with the online play. Um, if you notice, yeah, I think yeah, it just happened right there. It looked like the person in front of me didn't get an item box, but he actually did. So that's kind of a slight problem, although it's a little bit more convenient in terms of being able to actually get an item. Um, yeah, it just happened again. And uh, another, like, I want to say like a critical problem is that uh, there's some serious disconnect issues with the rooms. Can, I can't steal one of his mushrooms. What's going on? Um, and that being that uh, if somebody, when you're in the actual stage select screen, and somebody doesn't pick a track and they leave, then the whole room gets disconnected because apparently the game thinks that there's uh, there's still somebody who's left to vote, but there isn't. <gasps> oh no! I didn't want to get piranha planted. Okay, second, that's not bad. So, um, as you can tell, uh, my skills have uh, improved since my uh, first look video. Um, of course, I've been playing the heck out of this game over the past few days. You know, just kind of get trying to get a feel for it. You know, I guess, wow, look at all the different flags here. Man, there is such a huge, uh, huge diversity of uh, cultures and, and nations here. Represented in Mario, this Mario Kart 8 friend room, this first Mario Kart 8 online races. Um, but yeah, that was pretty cool. Um, mm, you know, Toad Harbor is okay. I, I know a lot of people love Toad Harbor, love it, love it, love it, but I'm gonna go ahead and pick random. Yeah, see? Like, almost, uh, I want to say almost half, but not really. Um, bunch of people picked Toad Harbor. Oh, it looks like we might go there? Yeah, okay. So, um, and then there's Shy Guy Falls. It, it seems like a few people in here like Shy Guy Falls. I really don't. I don't think Shy Guy Falls is that great. Um, I still have a problem with Shy Guy Falls, especially towards the very end. Uh, when you're gliding, and you, I try to get on that top path, and it just doesn't work for me. I'm beeping. I, f I also I figured out how to beep without actually um, without actually having to, having to tap the uh, the game pad. All you have to do is press the item use button when you don't have an item. Uh, see, he actually took an item. Now, see, if it could have actually glitched, and he and you know it didn't look like he took an item on my screen, then I could have gotten a free what? Okay. So as you can see, there's still a little bit of lag, pro ouch, lag problems. But I feel like they're not as bad as on Mario Kart Wii. Oh, ow. Thanks for that. Should have looked behind me. All right. So now I'm unfortunately stuck in seven. We are in a full room, so I'm not in last. Oh, whoa, that's close. Oh, I'm trying to get some coin here. It's not working out for me. Also, I guess I kind of went prattling on with, uh, you know, whatever the stuff I was talking about. And, uh, unfortunately, I, uh, did not get to a question last time. But hopefully I'll remember this time. I should have hit that guy. 
don't know why I didn't. Hey! I don't I don't know how to like not make people slipstream off of me. It's I've I've still yet to figure that one out. And also getting an item would be nice too. Whoop. Okay, up we go. A little side path here. Lightning. Come on, lightning. I looked at the gamepad while that was happening, and, uh, yeah, the people in last pretty much just got, uh, lightning, or not light, why did I say lightning? Um, mushrooms. Purple mushrooms. No, just like I got. Alright. Now, I know there's, like, a little side path or some such thing you can take here, but, uh, oh well, I guess it doesn't really matter. Do 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 do! Uh, oh, oh, thanks. I'll just steal those and slipstream off here. All right. Hey, that kind of worked out. Oh, now there's a lightning. Oh, wow. That's a lot of coins on the ground. Oh, I was going to say, I actually want to... I forgot how fast they respawn. Oh, dang it. That was dumb of me. Oh, I forgot how fast the item boxes respawn in this game. Yeah, they're a little... They're not, like, super fast, but they're definitely faster than in Mario Kart Wii, so I was not not expecting that. Could have actually gotten that one. Alrighty. So it appears as though David and Danny, from what I'm seeing on the gamepad, are fighting for first. It appears to be very close. Oh, no! Wow, he got a crazy ape. Or she? I don't, I don't know if that was Rosalina that got that. Ah! I just saw a bunch of stuff behind me. And it looks like I'm getting eight this time. All right. Like I said, the VR system in this game is very gentle. But yeah, I could have raced that one better. You know, I always take the other uh, side route. You know, there. Uh, you know, from oh, I lost three points. Okay, well, like I said, you know, it's really not that bad. So, um, it, it seems like when I when I do the races, I, I have like a certain just way that I always go through every single time, go through the track, and I don't really like deviate from that. Hmm. Yeah, I gotta be honest, I'm not liking these either. <laughs> I know, I'm being very picky here. But, uh, okay, let's get into an actual question. Um, uh, why do I not see one? Me? Are there any, uh, Kevin Murillo on Facebook asks, Are there any other characters you wanted to be on the, on the roster? Also, will you be upset if you lose another 300? Oh, okay, we got disconnected. If you lose another 330 points in a race. Well, luckily that can't happen. And I think I was actually about to mention that uh, with the VR system. I think I'm going to switch here. I mean, there's no real difference. Like, most of the gliders are actually the same. It's like half and half. Um, like, half of them give you, like, a little speed boost, and then the other half give you, like, an acceleration boost. Um, and what what was it? And are there any other characters you wanted to be on the roster? Um, you know, I really... I, I don't really mind this roster, although I, I kind of feel like I, I, and I know this is super random, but I kind of feel like I was missing King Boo. I, I know that's super random. I, I, I'd never played as King Boo in, like, any other game, but, like, I don't know. I was just thinking, you know, there's there's no actual, like, Boo character to pick from in, in this one. But, um, aside from that, um, no, not really. You know, there was, like, Koopa Troopa and, like, Paratroopa in a, in a Double Dash, but, uh, I don't really miss, miss them. All right, so it looks like I got in this room right as the next race is starting. So uh, I will be back momentarily with the next actual race that I will actually be in. Okay, so now we are back here in, uh, well, selecting a course. And I'm actually going to pick Cloud Top Cruise. And uh, that's because I really, really like Cloud Top Cruise. Now, unfortunately, it was up against Sunshine Airport, with uh, which a lot of people also like. Um, so that was that didn't really work out for me. Also, this may be one of those disconnection problems that I mentioned. It looks like it is. Yeah. Um, now, I feel like there's a multitude of reasons. Now, as you can see, everybody actually voted for a course. Um, now, from some of the stuff that I was doing with uh, playing with some of my friends... Uh, it seemed like if people follow you into a room, and then, I don't know, there, there's like a, an error that can happen where you, they follow you into a room, but they can't see you in the room, or you can't see them in the room. 
and then, you know, everybody goes to vote, but, you know, like, on your screen, you can't see everybody that's voting, so it, like, you know, it thinks that there's still somebody left to vote, it counts down, and then it disconnects. Like, that's basically, like, another one of the problems that they really, really need to address. <laughs> there really needs to be, like, you know, patches and, like, hot fixes and whatnot on this game, because, uh... Those are, those are really, really annoying to have to, like, continually keep looking for rooms over and over and over again. Alright, well, it looks like I'm spectating once again, so I will be back once again. Okay, so here we go again, picking a course. Okay, I think I'm going to pick Bowser's Castle, because that's actually a pretty good one. Now, hopefully nobody flies away, because, uh, like I was saying, you know, that that's... One of the problems with, like, you know, people will disconnect, and then, you know, you can't, or they won't, yep, there goes somebody, oh god. Uh, now there's always a possibility that somebody can also re, or join the room, and, uh, and pick a course, which can actually salvage the room, but, um, uh, th this is, this, you know, I feel like this first part, is def first part is definitely going to be a testament to the definite problems that are on the online game, I mean, look at this, I, this is the second room in a row, that this has happened. I, I haven't even gotten to play once again since the last one. Oh, wait, wait, this might be saved. No, doesn't look like it. Okay, so I shall return when I actually get into a race. Huh, okay. So right after the last one, I actually get into a new room. Now let's see if this one actually works. <laughs> Oh, I also completely neglected to mention that there's, uh, it, as you're waiting, there's actually, uh, little animations of toads floating around in space. It's, it's actually really funny. I like that. Bong. Bong. This is like counting down to the, to your doom, pretty much. The countdown to the room getting disconnected. Oh, it actually is picking. Oh my god, this is some sort of miracle, I must say. Please not the DK one. Uh, oh, okay. I, I, you know, I really don't, I really don't like Sherbet Land very much, but I prefer it over the DK Jungle one. I really do not like the DK Jungle one. <laughs> um, also, here's another question while I'm kind of, uh, glancing over. Uh, Ruben Giglio, perhaps, on Facebook asks, How was Baby Rosalina born? Um, I believe that Baby Rosalina was born due to uh, a man and Princess Peach loving each other very much. That's just my take on it. Although, perhaps it's Rosalina's actual baby. You know? Baby Rosalina. Oh, wow. That, what? Oh, he didn't actually get hit. Okay. Oh, maybe that one will hit him? Or me? Oh, God. Oh! That was scary. And I didn't get an item. Because he took it! Do, 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 do. I might get... I might be in trouble here. Huh? Well, there's Mama Rosalina. <laughs> <laughs> that reminds me, yeah, the uh, the Lumas call her Mama in uh, Galaxy 1. Who knows, man? Who knows? Although, I, I do find it rather freaky when, you know, there's a, a race when, you know, there's like a baby Rosalina and then, you know, like an actual Rosalina. Or like, you know, baby Mario and Mario. Especially if they're like right next to each other. That's like really, really weird. Also, so if anybody doesn't... That was good. He boosted right into my green shell. So if anybody doesn't know... Oh, no. Oh. Uh, and that's another problem that I really hope that they address is uh, the fact that you can see the alert for a red shell behind you even if that red shell is not going to hit you. Which is very, very annoying. Who is this guy playing? Oh, Roy. I feel like there's a certain number of, you know, uh, you know, very good characters. You know, like with the... Oh, that was close. Um, like with, uh, what was it, in, in Mario Kart Wii, you know, you had, like, Funky Kong and, and, and uh, Rosalino, uh, uh, Daisy. And, uh, and I think in a light way, there was Baby Daisy. But anyway, um, but yeah, it really seems like, uh, there's Wario now, uh, Morton, and, uh, Bowser, I believe, are, like, the really, really, like, strong characters. And I'm not just saying that, because they're, like, physically strong. Oh, no, I was looking for, oh! Wow, I, you know, wow, okay, just wow. Oh, I was trying, I was gonna look behind me to see if that red shell was actually, you know, chasing me, because again, I don't know, but, uh, as I did, it hit me. Oh, dear God, there's two people with stars, and I'm getting very scared. Oh, blue shell. 
So yeah, if anybody doesn't know about the blue shells, now they kind of, uh, they run along the ground there, like, uh, initially, when they first appeared in, uh, 64. But then, once they actually get- <gasps> Did he just, like, give me third? What was that? But then when they actually get to the person first, then they fly, and they, like, you know, crash down and boom. Alright, so I think I'm gonna follow the, um the same setup as I did with the uh, Wi-Fi races, and I'm going to do three races, and then I'm going to say that this is it for this part of the Mario Kart 8 Wi-Fi races, or online series. I, I you know, I changed the name, um, but uh, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Don't forget to uh, give it a like, and I will see you all in the next part. See you all next time. And yeah, if you liked my voice, well, that's a plus too. See ya. Ha ha ha.